total bankruptcy filings rose 13 percent last year, according to the Administrative Office of the U.S. Courts. If this is something you're considering or worried about, in this Watching Your Wallet consumer investigator, Rachel DePompa finds out why experts say do your best to avoid filing for bankruptcy. Filing for bankruptcy is time-consuming, inherently stressful, and potentially expensive. And it could negatively impact your credit for up to 10 years. Leslie Tane is a debt relief attorney with 25 years experience. She says bankruptcy should be a last resort. And if this really is where you are headed, have a consultation with a local bankruptcy attorney. But remember, bankruptcy is not a right. You have to qualify for bankruptcy. If you're not sure, if you do, speak to a local bankruptcy attorney in the area in which you live, because that's where you would be filing. While it's a federal law, there are some state exemptions in terms of things that you can keep during your bankruptcy, including a house, car, certain cash, jewelry, and other assets. Before you get to this step, Tane says, try everything else, debt consolidation, negotiating with creditors, and seeking professional financial advice. If you have money, but your money is short and you're unable to meet your regular obligations, seek out an alternative to bankruptcy. Be super careful about debt consolidation and debt settlement. While it is very, very successful if it's done right, there are often unscrupulous companies that are out there soliciting you and or making promises that are just not reasonable. Tain says bankruptcy can absolutely impact your ability to borrow, to get appropriate insurance like homeowners insurance, and to be able to have flexibility with certain jobs and housing options. So if you are seeking out help, do your research very carefully on those solutions before saying yes to any kind of debt resolution process. With this watch in your wallet, I'm Rachel.